spark that makes your brand unique and valuable and makes the movie trailer for your company. So put your hands together for Matt McCauley. So I talk with my hands, so I don't know how this is going to work out, but we'll, we'll go for it. Um, thanks, Tanya. I, don't, I should just leave now. Uh, first of all, let's give a hand to the, the video guys, because shooting events sucks, no matter what they tell you. Um, I'm going to walk a lot, too, so it's going to be a problem. And I'm going to show videos, so it's going to be interesting. Um, how many people here have seen a movie in the last month or two at the theaters? Raise your hands. What movie? Um, Deadpool. Deadpool? Why'd you go see it? Because that's where my boyfriend wanted me to. That's what we were going to go see. It's my boyfriend. Why did your boyfriend want to see it? I don't know. I, just, I think probably because it was just popular. And but how did he know it was popular? Social media. TV, I mean, all of he saw a... You saw a trailer. Uh, people go see movies, spend a ton of money based on a 30 second, two minute trailer. We just make that 30 second, two minute trailer for your business. And that's pretty much it. That's really all I wanted to say, but they said I gotta talk for 30 minutes, so I'll keep going. Uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I have no presentation, sorry. I've never done this before, so. Um, Video is kind of, I know we talk about it like it's the shiny new object, but it's really been around since the camera's been around, and more so it's just storytelling just on video, and storytelling has been around since the beginning of time. So really, it's the oldest form of marketing if you think about it. Um, my story is I kind of grew up in the camcorder boom. Um, I'm 30 going on about 16. Um, I know I look that way, but uh, I, my parents had a camcorder and I was just always on camera being really dumb. Um, I'm from South Carolina and at the time I had a really southern accent. Um, and I spent most of my life on camera because my parents had a camcorder. And then they got a new one and they handed one down to me and I started making movies with my friends. and. Uh, it's really the only thing I've ever been good at. <laughs> um, about, when I was about 19, I thought maybe I should do this for a living, and then I moved to Portland, Oregon, which is just a few short hours from here, and was looking for a place to live. And uh, I started to go online and look for places, and I saw a bunch of virtual tours or slideshows and thought, these aren't that good, and I could do them a lot better. Uh, so I reached out to a few agents, uh, bought a camera, and started shooting uh, video tours for agents and turned that into a company and then started to get to know the real estate agents and what they really wanted and kind of built uh, these documentaries from that. Um, some other things I did while I was in Portland was I shot a lot of short films and really learned filmmaking and did a couple of web series and I think we're going to show... Uh, my reel right now, so I can stop talking. Yeah.
So that's what I did while I was in Portland. And I know you're thinking, what does that have to do with this? And wait, I'll get there. Um, so after doing that, getting into a couple festivals and, and, and stuff, I needed some money. Um, so I started building my company back up and I, and I got into documentaries and I, and I kind of looked at the concept of a documentary and, and was like, I could do this for a business because everyone has a story and everybody wants to hear your story and work with you based on who you are more than just a, a pitch. People want to get to know you. And I started doing that. And uh, I have notes so I don't get lost because I'll just start talking about weird stuff. Um, so the main question I get asked is how do you make a story out of my company or my brand or my business? Um, and that's kind of where the next couple of examples come from. I got asked by a marketing company called Amp Marketing. Um, they hire salesmen to sell DirecTV and AT&T. And as you might know, that's a lot of door-to-door -door sales. So getting people to sign up for that is kind of hard. So they were like, we need to make a recruiting video to get more salesmen. So how do we make this job entertaining and how do we bring people in? Um, we're still working on it. We just finished shooting in um, a week ago. Um, so I've got just a two minute clip from that. If you want to play that, it is not up there. <laughs> uh, it might be on my YouTube channel or in that email I sent you. No, I got a, you're not going to find it that way. Do you have that email I sent you? Sorry. I don't have any jokes. Okay, so Tanya wants me to talk about how fun it was to work with Ke Keller Williams Marysville. Uh, and it wasn't at all. Uh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So getting to know the, the team and the salesmen, it, it became more of what AMP was doing for them and kind of almost the ministry they were serving and, and showing what you can become. As you can see, there was a, uh, the first guy, he was homeless and had a kid to take care of and he joined AMP and it really changed his life. The other guy, Jeff, uh, they took us on a cruise. They take all their top salesmen on a cruise and... Uh, I got to see Jeff, who's 37 years old, see the ocean for the first time in St. Martin, which is pretty cool because the first time I saw the ocean was in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and it's not the same. Um, so that, that's kind of, we just found the story, and in finding the story, we, we help them recruit uh, more people because people buy into your story. Um, 
The next one is uh, we had a real estate company in Charleston, South Carolina want a creative way to um, sell their listing. It was a $5 million listing and they wanted something different. They wanted to stand out. Uh, so we put some ideas together and we came up with this.
so the cool thing about these videos that I'm showing you The, thank you. The, the cool thing about these videos I'm showing you is that uh, those weren't actors. Those were just people. Some, most of the time it's just the business owner. Um, you, don't, you don't need actors. You, you can do it yourself. I know you don't want to. I don't want to be up here, but you got to do it to bring in business. Um, <laughs> uh, so it's just about telling your story and, and you're the best person to, to do that. Um, the last one, I swear it's the last one, the last one I'm gonna show you, and I'm only gonna show you a little bit of it, is uh, we, again, we're approached by a, a real estate company. Um, we do a lot of real estate. <laughs> um, and they were renovating a house in Charleston, and they said, we wanna do a documentary on that, and I said, why? Um, and they said, there's a lot of history behind it. And I said, all right, well, I'll just come with my camera and we'll, we'll set up and we'll shoot and we'll talk to everybody involved and uh, we'll, we'll get to know you guys and, and uh, see what happens. So this is, this is that. Yeah. It didn't have as much of a negative impact on the historic fabric in the building. 
the Gaston House project has been an awesome one to undertake. Um, knowing that we align ourselves with uh, people in the community that are like-minded or have a um, approach that is in, in line with our vision, uh, we do that. We source out those opportunities. Uh, a great candidate that we align ourselves with was uh, the King Street Hospitality Group. Uh, they handle all of our bookings, um, insurance, and event planning as far as the bar setup. Um, having that relationship makes my job easy. Uh, just focusing on the finance and the day to day numbers. Yeah, I have been looking at that house for a year and a half, two years. I talked to Mike, who is one of our owners, um, who is also the owner of our company, um, that we wanted a new venue. We have two other places, and we wanted to keep expanding our spaces in Charleston. It's grown, it's the number one destination wedding city in the country, um, so it's a prime. Good market right now. Yes. Um, and so we have been looking at that for a while. We met Chrisley James, Logan like Simplified, partnered on that, and that's how we became involved. The Gaston House was started in the fourth quarter of uh, last year um, and acquired, I would say, roughly in uh, October. Um, began some preliminary phases on the site, you know, at the end of October, and it really hit full speed at the turn of the year. The risk with historic renovations on it always is a risk, because you never really know what you're dealing with until you strip the bandages off. There it is, yes. Do you know something we don't know? So I show you that one for uh, a couple reasons, um, and you can see the rest of it if you if you're interested on uh, our website. Um, but one is that they just wanted a marketing video because they um, wanted to do more renovations in Charleston. They were a relatively new company, and they wanted to build that. Um, and out of that, we got this amazing story that's actually in the running to be nominated for a local Emmy, and one of the prerequisites of that is that it had to be shown to a hundred people so thank you for that um, <laughs> uh, the other part of it is that it's also a wedding venue now and this works uh, as that so it's kind of twofold um, the other reason I show you is because it's probably my favorite first act uh, that was the entire first act of the film that I've that I've done um, and why I say that is because that's how we approach everything we do for our clients. We take our filmmaking background and the formula of film and television and apply that to your company. We take the act one, act two, act three. And act one is start, start everything off with something that, that captivates the audience, as I did when I asked you if you've seen a movie. And then introduce your main characters, which in this case would be me. Um, and then every act ends with a question, which, which is what the movie is about, which is, will the boy get the girl? Will Will Smith and Tom Cruise save the planet from aliens? Or how do I use video in my business? And then the whole second act is just throwing obstacles in the way of that. And I showed you examples of how we created these videos and the third act, the second act ends with a cliffhanger, which I kind of cheated and, and cut the video off on you. Um, but the third act kind of rips or wraps everything up. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. If, if there's anything you should take away from this is that you, you need to do video for your company and that you should make it personal and you should tell your story. Um, you should find a way to captivate your audience and leave them at the right time wanting more. And with that, I'm done.
my Tanya is telling me to tell you my website. My website is a www.brand, B R A N D, dot film, F I L M. The dot film is the dot com. Don't put dot com after it. Thank you.